Hey, what's going on everybody? We're back with another video on the channel. In today's video, we have like a, a sort of a highly requested one. A lot of people have asked me, how do I farm easy nukes? How do I have so many nukes? How do I get them so easily? And for, for the most part, there's one map that is by far the easiest to get a nuke on if you know how to play it, and that's jungle. Jungle flooded, actually, to be honest, makes it even easier, but there's it's sort of hard to see in the water and there's the, the spawns are all messed up. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get a nuke on jungle. I'm gonna show you the easiest way possible. It's not camping, you're not standing still the whole game, you're not sitting in a corner with, you know, a riot shield and trip wires. Like, you're literally just locking down the most popular part of the map and it only takes realistically an average amount of gun skill to do it. I've done this for most of BO4. Every time I get jungle 50-50, it, it honestly is 50-50, I'll drop a nuke on that map. With the right lobby and just, you know, being on form, I will nuke 50% of the time on jungle. Jungle flooded, obviously it, it raised the percentage and pretty much I was nuking nearly every game on jungle flooded. They're not necessarily epic gameplays where I drop, you know, hundreds of kills, but a nuke's a nuke. And you guys can think what you want, but I'm going to teach you guys the easiest way to do it. I'm going to give you all the details. I'm going to show you how to uh, break down the map and just hopefully get you guys a nuke. Hopefully you guys can take some advice. Um, you can take some, you know, information from it and get yourselves a nuke. So make sure you guys drop a like. We'd much appreciate it. Let's get in live. Alrighty. I'm going to do my best to run you guys through the easiest way to nuke on this map. Obviously, it depends which way you get spawned. Most of the time, just push as hard as you can. That was quite lucky. Now, obviously, there's three main parts of Jungle Flooded. Well, that was a good start. You wanna, there's bridge right here. All right. There's the middle, and then there's obviously behind you. Now, they, they're going to spawn out the back. Wow. And like, look how quickly you can get in a fight. I recommend the KM. Three guns I would use would be the KM, Tiger Shark, and I would probably say, I don't know, I reckon you could get away with maybe the, the ICR, but yeah, I 100% reckon the KM. Now obviously, for this nuke to work, you're going to want to run UAV, 100%, counter UAV if necessary. Crash is also very important, you do not want to be running out of ammo. If you're playing with a friend, yeah sure they could run Crash for you, holy shit. Um, but definitely, definitely Crash. And I, and I would I would say maybe like Sniper's Nest or Thresher, just so you can get people moving. You can get people coming towards you. You don't want them sitting in the back of their spawns or in the broken, burnt down houses. And that's pretty much it. You lock down this whole main area. That's all you have to do. And you just keep cycling through. See how on the map, all of my teammates are on that other side, which means my teammates, or my, the enemy is gonna be spawning at one of the other two spots. They spawn back over there, and then they spawn burnt down houses, and then they spawn at the back where you'll spawn in. Wow. And realistically, you sit on this head glitch here where these barrels are, and you know, you, you keep jockeying side to side, you're always moving, you don't get hard scope. You're gonna nuke. Now obviously, you, you just wanna play the advantage. Like, always aim in, always be pre-aiming. Pre-aiming's the easiest way to get an advantage on an opponent. That's, that's what I recommend. And obviously playing the head glitch. Don't go stand in the middle of the bridge and be like, oh, why did I die? Like, just keep cycling through the main main like main ports. And obviously, I probably should be checking the bridge a bit often. But if I if I see a teammate on the bridge, I'm constantly checking. I'm going, alright, my teammate's still alive on the bridge. He's clearly not being killed by someone. I don't need to watch that. If you then see and flick that your teammate dies, then definitely, definitely start looking. But most of the time, they'll spawn pretty much out the back over here or burnt houses, which means they'll either have to push to the bridge or they'll end up dying. So, come on. And as you can see here, I haven't really had anyone trouble me. Like, I just keep cycling through. That's all I need to do. Now, if you really want it to play... Oh, all right. So he knows. You, you'll get some people that'll try their best. Like, you just... You sort of got to do a lot of damage before you get you let people get like their um, oh there's a person there you, now the, the best thing here is I'm by myself here so I do not want to get caught here so you back up that's all you need to do you back up you you wait for teammates to spawn and that's all you need to do like just recycle wait for a teammate to push with you let them go first 
and you're set. But always play, always be, always play the advantage. See right now, I'm letting three teammates come with me. I'm pushing up. There's no chance of me dying. But pre-aiming is 100% the easiest key to, uh, whoa. All right, I technically probably should have died there, but I don't know why my sniper's less and fresher didn't let that guy, didn't kill that guy. But you just lock down this part of the map. A lot of people will leave if you chuck streaks up. So it does come down to an easy lobby as well. Now they're either going to push broken house or burnt houses, or they're going to push me. Because obviously they need to get to a building, otherwise my sniper's nest is going to kill them. Alright, we're on a 20 already. So obviously they spawn back there, there's only three spawn points. Now I saw on the red dot there that he was coming, so of course I pre-aim, I pre-fire that. I I'm, I'm already know, I'm ready for him. He obviously doesn't have a UAV, so he's got no idea. Well, wow. Oh, shit. That kid, he knows. He's he's going to keep trying that, 100%. Bro, right now, we are absolutely going off. See how easy that was to outgun that guy? Like, you pre-aim, you make it a lot easier for yourself. Like, play the advantage. Play the height advantage. It's going to make it near impossible for anyone to outgun you. Like, they can't even hit a shot on you, bro. You practice this sort of shit, you practice your aim, you're going to be fine. And we are honestly about to get the nuke right now. If I can get this kid right here... But I don't, you, don't, you don't want to be greedy, you got to have a lot of composure when you're going for nukes. Ruin kill. Now obviously I don't have much time because I did call in a bulk Man. load of streaks, so... And, uh, and that, can definitely, that can definitely kill a game. But there it is, easy as that, nuclear. And now, once you've got the nuke... Oh, you know, eventually that'll happen, but to be fair, you, that's not... You dying to that is nothing to do with the skill of a player, that's just like a teammate or an enemy using probably the most toxic weapon in the game but there you go that's simply as easy as you can do it i lock down one area i just rotate obviously it takes high concentration you guys are going to be concentrating 24 7 while playing this game bro 24 7 54 and 1 easy as that and obviously perfect lobby those kids were bots they sucked obviously i, I practiced that whole game plan a lot and that helps with my KD as well. My KD skyrockets. Like I'm nearly at, a, I think I'm at like a 4 KD or close to it. And then when you're playing like that, like you're not, I'm not necessarily camping. I'm playing the most popular part of the map. Like I still keep a high score per minute. I still keep a good KD and I get a nuke. So it's just honestly as easy as that guys. I hope that helped you guys. If you've got any information or you need to know anything more, just drop me a comment. I'll do my best to help you. But Jungle Flooded and Jungle are the easiest maps to nuke on if you lock down this part of the map. Alrighty. I'm going to try and do my best to show you how to do it on Jungle Flooded as well. Wow, well, thank you for that. I'm going to have to mute you. Holy shit. I'm going to try and, I'm going to try and show you like the easiest way. Nice start. Oh, there was another one there. Sorry, teammates. Let you die. Now KN, 100%, whoa, one of the best guns in the game. Wow. But it's the same, it's honestly the same principle, locking down the same part of the map and you're sweet. But with Jungle Flooded, they like to push the bridge more because they have to push over. They're obviously not going to go through the water, so they push from the bridge more, being this bridge here, the center of the map. But most of the time, and see, I play that head glitch. Like, it's it's extremely hard for someone to outgun you while you're on the head glitch. Especially with the KN. Such low recoil, such high damage. Wow, we're, like, we're already on a 10. It's 18 kills in and we're already on a 10. Holy shit. And now, obviously, I just killed them all there. They're either going to be spawning back here or they're going to be spawning out. But with jungle... Oh, my lord. With jungle flooded, you're lucky because there's only three spawns. Burnt house... Uh, back where you spawn in from that side, you're dead. So, Tim, I let you die. Um, yeah, so back over there where you'll spawn that side of the map, and then you'll obviously spawn the other side of the map as well. So, there's only realistically three spawns for Jungle Flood because of the water. Wow, alright.
and now that is definitely not what I assumed would happen. But that's that's another thing. You can't you can't control that. When you get one shot headshotted by a I don't even know what it is, an ABR with double high caliber, that's just unfortunate. Like that's you got nothing to do with someone else. But you just go again. There's still plenty of time. You're only 30 kills in and I was already nearly on a 20, so you just keep going. And like obviously if you if you're new to Call of Duty Black Ops 4 or you know you don't have a nuke or You've only got a couple, you haven't got one for a while. Like, this sort of stuff isn't going to be, like, instant. It'll take you a couple of games to get used to it. Um, but for the most part, on the KN, I run extended mags, grip. Um, I actually can't remember. Grip, stock, I believe, and maybe quick draw, I think. I only run, like, four attachments. And then I run uh, scavenger and ghost, I think. And then I just run crash all the time. But then again, even if you don't get a nuke, you're still like I'm still I'm gonna go off this game. I can already tell. Wow, was that like one shot headshot? Like, what do you expect? So sometimes you just can't do anything about it. Like, I just you can't, and that's the unfortunate thing. Now I would say that the Reaper actually helps a lot with getting nukes. But it has been nerfed up to a certain point where I just don't think it's good enough anymore. I don't know, it's all personal preference, but I just don't think the Reap is good enough anymore. But I 100% but I recommend the KN if you guys are going for nukes. KN, obviously if you've got the VMP or something like that, use the VMP, but choose your maps. It's very hard to use a VMP on this map. It's a lot of long distance fights. It's a... Um, it's 100% like most of medium to long range battles, sometimes short, and then obviously the KN is extremely good close range. And as you can see, like, when your aim is on point, it's so much easier. They just kind of think about it, and I constantly jockey as well, I constantly like, well that guy just got a triple feed, call me rain. Um, I constantly sway side to side, I constantly like jockey. Wow. And they just can't do anything about it. They will keep spawning there. They will keep trying to push, and I will just keep killing them. It's simple as that. We're already another 10. So right there, I probably would have had the nuke. A 10 and a 20, you know, but obviously, shit happens, you die, and you can't do much about it. But obviously, UAVs are key. UAVs are definitely key, because while they spawn, they're constantly trying to... They're scared of this sniper's nest. They're scared of the thresher. They want to get... To a building as quickly as possible. Most of the time they're just frantic, they're not playing properly, and then you pre-aiming, you're gonna win nine out of ten gunfights. See look at them all, they all run out frantic, they're all trying to push, they're either gonna get sniped by my sniper's nest like that, or they're gonna die to me. And they can't do anything about it, it's as easy as that. Now you take out that one player who just double headshotted me. Oh wow. With a um with the what's it called, uh, ABR, I think it's the ABR, I, I wouldn't have died, and like that's, that's like getting headshotted by the Mozu, like it doesn't really take that much skill, it's kind of like a cheat gun, it's like the Reaver, it doesn't take skill, it's a one shot one gun, so it's unfortunate, but you take away those two deaths and I have another nuke, like, you know what I mean, obviously people have left, that's sort of unfortunate, but what do you expect? Supplies. First come, first serve. But for the most part, this is by far the easiest gun to, I mean, easiest maps to improve your KD, to improve your, um, your nuke, your Kill. nuke medals, like, just getting, you know, anything, anything done, it's easy on jungle, flood on jungle, and they're quite popular, like, I'll get it, like, five times a day, easy. And nine times out of ten, I'll nuke on all four out of five maps. I won't post it, because most of the time, like, I just don't, I've, I've posted that many jungle and that many... Uh, jungle flooded nukes that it's just Enemy. getting old so you know I don't really post it but if I go off like this like I'm gonna easily get a 60 bomb right now I'm gonna get an awesome KD and I sh to be honest I should have had a nuke I should not let that kid kill me he ended up leaving anyway so it was like thanks a lot you know what I mean and just like that 65 and 2 nearly a 70 bomb cannot complain it's like I know it's I know it's gonna be hard and like it'd be tricky to sort of get that shit down pat and you know it'll take you a few goes definitely but I 100% think if you guys can sort of practice this technique you know copy the class setup all that like I play on 14 14 sensitivity so like 
for me to have this sort of control, it is, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's like, I've played this game a lot to have that. It's not overnight success. So I, I advise you guys to try your hardest and let me know in the comments how you go. I don't care if it's a week, two weeks in advance. If you drop a nuke on Jungle Flooded Jungle, let me know. Peace.